I decided to do a website for my project because most teens are online these days, whether it be Facebook or Twitter. And so, because everyone is so wired by the internet, it's a huge advantage to me to put all the information right there so teens are familiar and they can access it easily. My website is teensontrafficking.org and I have had over 22,000 visits. What inspired me to do this project is knowing that someone somewhere, maybe really far, could be seeing the information and be saved. There is approximately 800,000 people um, transported across international borders every year who are human trafficked and approximately 27 million slaves worldwide, which is more than um, any time in history that we've had slavery. In America, people don't think that since this is the land of the free, they don't think that this could happen here, and it does. Human trafficking targets women and children vastly. People don't realize that either. They think of it more as an adult problem, but there are many children be involved because the average age of entry into prostitution is 13. I've heard from people all over the world. Most recently, there was a man in Thailand, actually, who was reaching out to me, um, asking about any tips that I could give him about running a girls camp. The awareness jewelry we have um, is to educate people and spark the conversation about human trafficking when someone says, oh, that's a really nice bracelet. You say, hey, this is my human trafficking awareness bracelet. And they can say, what's human trafficking? And it gets the conversation started. And it's all black and white to represent the polar opposites on how someone's life can change in an instant. The advice I would give to the young Girl Scouts is to stay in it. These girls that are in your troop will be your friends for so long, and all the opportunities that come with being a teenage Girl Scouts are immense, so just stick with it.